one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today is some volatility that's happening mm -hmm. in Bitcoin, and specifically this week, mm -hmm. last week, Mount yeah. Gox. Yeah. You've kind of stepped up with a site called Bitcoin Builder. Yeah. You're you're almost like a gangster of Bitcoin at this point <laughs> in time. You're, you're you're like you're like making these you know deals to like get Bitcoins in and out. You're shaving a little bit for yourself, <laughs> which is fine. People, it's a it's such a low fee, mm -hmm. but you're doing really well at this. How are people? Taking this, what are, what are people saying about it? Yeah. Um, it's been really positive. <laughs> I mean, I I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Like we got you know, six thousand users or something that are in there and getting identity verified. It's just me still. Yeah. Um, I went to a career fair yesterday at my, fortunately my college, <laughs> my, uh, you know, my alma mater, and uh, tried to recruit a bunch of people. So hopefully someone will start on Monday. <laughs> Very and, cool. Um, yeah, but everybody is like. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Zorro or Robin Hood or something, yeah. <laughs> like liberating the Bitcoins. And they're like, yeah, fuck Mount Cox. Or, yeah. you know, this is so cool. And, and they're like, how'd you do this in like two days or whatever? And like, but it, it, there is a fuck Mount Cox attitude. But yeah. you, with this service, are putting your coins, having to keep your coins into Gox in order to in order yeah. to make this happen. Well, so, it's, you know, there's two sides to every trade. So it's people that are like, you know, fuck Mount Gox, they're going down, I want to get what I can, mm -hmm. get out. Um, so they're able to trade their, their frozen coins to people who are like, oh, you know, whatever, Mount Gox, yeah, fuck Mount Gox, but I don't think they're going to go out of business. Right. <laughs> you know, and I think these, you know, these Gox Bitcoins will become regular Bitcoins hopefully in a week, hopefully in a month, for sure, uh -huh. you know, for sure in three months, I don't know. How are you going to feel about this? Can you sustain this if it's six months down the line and, you know, the, the Gox Bitcoin is only 90 bucks? And <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, if it just stays like this, you know, ad infinitum, that's fine uh -huh. with me. Uh, the, the, the bad, bad thing would be if, you know, literally at some point, Mount Gox does collapse or there's some kind yeah. of like, all our Bitcoins are gone. For real, like, yeah. of course, that's the risk these people are taking right. <laughs> by trading for them, and they're trying to double their money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's like, you know, you don't get to go to Vegas and bet on black, and if red comes up, you don't get your money back. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. So you're betting on Mt. Cox not doing that. But you've got but to I think know that people are still going to be mad if it happens. You, you're, I'll you're probably take some of that. You're, 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 you're taking it, though, as if it's not a 50-50 roll. You, you, you feel it's... I feel it's, uh, it's better in your in yeah. That they're going to be around. I mean, so right now, as of this moment, the price is about at 0.5 on my mm -hmm. exchange. Um, but then the price actually on Mt. Cox uh, versus the price on like Bitstamp is is less than 0.5. So there is also an arbitrage opportunity that a lot of people are right. taking advantage of. But I think that difference is because of the friction in actually getting money into Mt. Cox and buying these cheap coins versus on my site it's all Bitcoin, so there's not a lot of friction, so they can right. do it pretty quickly. So. The true price, probably, of the market is somewhere between my 0.5 and the ratio of Gox to Bitstamp, which is like maybe I think it's about 0.4 now. Uh -huh. so somewhere in there is like the, the real sentiment right. of people's you know feeling on the chances that Mt. Gox will be insolvent. But it's not, it's not just that; it's also the time value of money, because just because they're solvent, if it takes them six years <laughs> to get the bitcoins in yeah. order, you know, you're locking up your money for six years. Right. So people are assuming probably it's a day or two. So they right. really are kind of betting on just. Is, are they solvent? But yeah. there is a little bit of a, you know, a few people are like, I don't think they're going to be solvent. I mean, I don't think they're going to be insolvent, but I, my mother-in-law needs surgery and I need to have a lot of my money in Bitcoin and Mt. Right. Cox and I just need to get it out and sell it and get cash and pay doctors or, you know, so people are just trying to get their money out for that, even though they're like probably going to lose 60% of the value, but right. I didn't, I didn't save enough, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And so, so sort of providing a service, it's, I mean, everyone using Bitcoin Builder right now, both ways, whether they're buying the coins, they're like loving it because they're 90, 95% confident they're going to double their money. Right. You know, so it's a great thing. People going the other way are happy because they're done with Mt. Gox. They don't have to watch it tank any further. Mm -hmm. or they don't have the uncertainty of when are their coins going to come out? Are their coins ever going to come out? So you've also stated that you think Mt. Gox's major problem Maybe not major problem, but a big part of their problem is mm. PR. Maybe there's yeah. some management issues, of course. A, a lot of other people are saying that they have huge management issues. Mm. But you think that there's a huge PR problem, and that's one of the reasons you're willing to hedge your bet. Yeah. I mean, I think basically the difference between what I think the true the true chances are Mt. Gox is solvent in my mind, which is, you know, I think there's probably greater than a 95% chance mm. they're fine. And then the market is kind of discounting that by half, thing. maybe there's a 47% chance they're fine. Right. <laughs> 
that difference can be more or less uh, uh, equalized or explained. That yeah. difference can be explained by their terrible PR, right? <laughs> you know, yeah. and the like, way that you know the, the CEO will go and on a talk show be like. I can't believe anyone would blame Mount Docs for this. You know? <laughs> so and you're do you, like, I understand that's how you feel, but don't say that on right, TV right, <laughs> right now. Don't say it right now. Like, say so, it in five years in your memoir.